Hi, this is Maddie Harper bringing you the March 2021 Multifamily Market Insight Report. Nationally, rents increased by 0.6% in March on a year-over-year -year basis. Multifamily rents had one of the strongest first quarters in a few years, with rents up 0.8% from last quarter. Jobless claims fell to 684,000 in the week ending March 20th, which is the fewest since the start of the pandemic. As the recovery gains momentum, the number of jobless claims will likely continue to recede. Occupancy declined slightly in February from a year ago, but like I've been saying, overall has remained relatively flat during the last year. Our top four markets for rent growth remained unchanged from February, with all four top markets continuing to post strong year-over-year -year gains. All four markets are on the West Coast and have benefited from strong migration into their respective metros. Tampa is a new entrant to the top five this month with 5% rent growth on a year-over-year -year basis. This month, instead of doing our usual rent and occup occupancy comparison, I want to bring in some discussion on supply and that, how that has affected three markets over the last year. Three of our top 30 markets where we've seen the highest number of deliveries in the last 12 months as a percentage of stock are Raleigh, the Twin Cities, and Denver. Starting off with Raleigh, rents are up only 0.5% on a year-over-year -year basis. Raleigh had a particularly difficult month with rents declining by 0.9% since February. Raleigh does have strong economic fundamentals, so the large decline in rents could just be a one-month drop. But one of the factors pre preventing Raleigh from having substantial rent growth is the large number of deliveries that have occurred. In the last 12 months, 3.9% of stock was delivered. Um, the pipeline under construction in Raleigh is strong as well, with 5.3% of stock currently under construction. The large pipeline will likely make it difficult for rents to pop coming out of the pandemic. But like I said, Raleigh does have strong economic fundamentals, a strong concentration of tech workers. So rents will be able to increase, but maybe not at the rate they would have been able to without this large influx of supply. The Twin Cities is another market that has seen a lot of supply deliver over the last 12 months. Rents have fallen dramatically since March of 2020. As of March of 2021, rents were only up 0.1% on a year over year basis. The Twin Cities has seen 3.9% of stock deliver in the last 12 months. Completions were at an all time high in the Metro in 2020, despite the pandemic. The Twin Cities has a significant amount of supply under construction as well, with 8.2% of existing stock currently under construction. The last Metro with a large number of deliveries in the last 12 months is Denver. Rents have increased steadily since June 2020, pointing to a bottoming in the Metro and a recovery, but on a year-over-year basis, rents are still only up 0.4%. Denver has seen 3.8% of existing stock deliver over the last 12 months. Deliveries have tapered off a little since 2018, but remain high. The pipeline doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon with 7.3% of existing stock currently under construction. All three of these metros will have to watch their supply pipelines as we emerge from the pandemic. These metros have bounced off of their low, low points as far as rent growth goes, but the supply pipelines will make it an uphill battle to get back to pre-pandemic rent growth levels. For further information and our outlook on the year, please join us on April 15th for an interactive conversation with Jeff Adler and Jack Kern as we discuss multifamily fundamentals. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Are you seeing similar supply trends happen in your market? Feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.